Hi, I'm Lars Bergstrom with Curtis Stokes and Associates. Today I'm in Oriental, North Carolina, taking a look at this lovely 2009 Nordic Tug 37 Rover. Uh, Nordic Tugs have been very popular and hard to find. Um, this one's going to be available uh, in Newburgh to see. Feel free to uh, give me a call. I'll link my uh, number on here with any questions you have. Um, without further ado, I'll take you on a board and show you around. As I said, Rover's a 2009 Nordic Tug 37. She's just had her fall maintenance done, including a full detail of inside and out, compounding, waxing, See, she's really got some shine. Engine's been serviced. She's ready to go. The Nordic Tug features a really nice sized uh, cockpit aft. Easy to board from a, a dock. Plenty of hand holds. You step down into the cockpit. You can see there's enough room here to have a couple of picnic chairs if you like. On the models with a gas range, this is a propane locker, but here, as this is electric, we've got a nice clean locker to store things in. There's a hookup for your uh, wash down, freshwater wash down. Magna grill. Nice, uh, rigid, uh, inflatable tender. I think it's about 11 feet with a Tohatsu four stroke. 9.8 they worked in this unique uh, fender storage here I found this is also right about the right size for dive tanks if you like diving we've got a nice uh, gate here to go out onto the swim platform and this davit system simply lowers by a cable the tender swings out and away and down so very easy to lower the tender and to board from the uh, swim platform. She's got a Wabasto heater. You can see the exhaust for that is here. Uh, the heater is located in the lazarette, so staying warm is not a problem. She's got a ladder, but the ladder is a decent angle, so it, uh, it's not difficult to get up and down. And then the lazarette, as I mentioned here, Lots of storage room. Also, access to the, the rudders, the rudder and, and running gear, and the Wabasto heater that I told you about. So, a good, clean, lots of room for storage. This is a gasketed uh, hatch, so it stays watertight. From the cockpit, up a few stairs to the uh, sun deck. It's a large sun deck. You can see we've got uh, a Raymarine digital radar. Hatches the top of the pilot house was just uh, compounded. Our friend the owl keeps uh, the seagulls away. The gate uh, on this side, the uh, railing is um, wire with a gate hinge so that if you did want to put a davit on and keep a tender up here you can remove the railing to slide the tender on over we've got life sling here and you can see it's quite a lot of space up here Just to the side of the uh, ladder is the aft door into the salon. All the wood's just been oiled. Beautiful teak and holly floors, black solid surface countertops in the galley. The table can fold down, and then this. Uh, pulls out to a, a double bed so you have uh, accommodations for others here 
The galley has a microwave, three burner stove, and an oven. A large basin. Got freezer here. And the refrigerator opposite. In the uh, cabin sole here, you've got a hatch which goes to what we call the tank room. Here you've got the floorboards over the bilge. There's your, your water heater and plumbing. Pumps. Fuel tank. And on the other side, the uh, muffler. As you can see, lots of room for storage. Floorboard comes up, and there's your dripless shaft, and the the bilges are in there. Here, the owners have added a nice picture. We got uh, the boat anchored out uh, near Norfolk. You can see how nice the the woodwork is in here. Up three steps takes us to the pilot house. We go right by the uh, 12 volt power center. The 110 power center. You see beautiful teak and holly floors. Really well appointed helm. The Ray Marine C140 chart plotter with radar, autopilot. You've got controls for uh, anchor, defrosters, bilge pumps, window washers, bow thruster, electronic engine controls, and electronic engine monitor. Beautiful wooden wheel. You've got a door to port and to starboard, so easy to get out to the decks. Really good sized uh, helm seat, slides forward and aft, has a nice foot rest. Across from that, the other uh, seat with storage below. As I said, a door out to the port side as well. Large drawer for charts. The windshield wipers are uh, brand new, just replaced. Top, we've got uh, more instrumentation and VHF. She's fitted with Bose speaker system throughout the boat, including a really nice uh, a subwoofer hidden in the cabinetry below. Headliner's in excellent shape throughout the boat. You've got a nice hatch here for ventilation and two aft windows that slide open again for ventilation. And you can see plenty of air conditioning ducting into the area to keep it cool. Down forward, we have a foyer that leads to the master cabin. The walk around queen size bed. Headliner is beautiful, nice hatch for ventilation. In the later models, they really updated the woodwork. Uh, in the earlier tugs, Nordic tugs did not have as much uh, teak trim as you see in these models now. You have lit closets on each side. Carpets in good shape. You've got the uh, drawers below the bed with plenty of storage. Heater, electric heater to if you don't run the Wabasto diesel furnace. And plenty of uh, teak cabinetry opening ports. Locker on this side as well. Now, uh, in the floor here, we've got a hatch. This goes to 
the uh, batteries for the the bow thruster. So you got two batteries linked together here to make a 24 volt uh, system for the batteries. In the uh, foyer, the floor lifts up, and we've got the integral holding tank fiberglass right into the hull and the forward bilge pump, along with an extra alternator in there. <coughs> the guest cabin, a couple of chest of drawers on one side, nice headboard, opening uh, ports here, it's a double bed. This closet and uh, antique um, cabinetry there. You see the air conditioner register there. I kind of like the door. This door slides back out of the way so you can see you can pull it and it doesn't have to swing open and take up a bunch of room. Now across from the uh, guest cabin is the uh, head. We got vacuum flush toilets, beautiful teak cabinetry, solid surface countertops, great amount of storage, opening ports. The towel rack here is on a uh, panel that you can remove to access the wiring and whatnot at the uh, at the helm. And you've got a full size shower. With the sliding glass door. All right. So two floorboards lift up in the salon, getting you access to the engine and the engine room. You can see the engine's uh, immaculate. You got your oil changing system. Uh, Reverso or lube oil changer and uh, your Raycor filters. I've opened up the case on the generator so you can see how nice that looks in there. Your house batteries in nice boxes. Your through hole and uh, strainer for your engine right there, easy to get to. Your three air conditioner uh, compressors on this side with the uh, vacuum flush unit and the uh, Magnusine inverter there. And engine batteries in the, in the box there. And got pictures of the batteries in, in the listing. Quite a large engine room for uh, a vessel this size and really, really nice and clean. So as I said, Rover has just been detailed. The engine's been serviced. It's been gone over. Any problems that were found were taken care of. Um, she's clean, ready to view. She'll be in New Bern, North Carolina. If uh, a nice uh, cruising uh, boat is on your list, uh, this is uh, definitely one you want to check out uh, with a 380 horsepower single Cummins QSB engine. The fuel economy is great. She's got all the power uh, with inverters and generator um, that you need for extended cruising. Um, take you pretty much anywhere in comfort.